Okay, I think it's pretty much. Hello, my name is Dr. David Tomasi. I work as a psychotherapist in the Inpatient Psychiatry Union University of Vermont Medical Center, and I teach for UVM Integrative Health. Okay, and I think I could add the rest later. In order to understand mood disorder, depression, and mental health disorders in general, it's important to understand two different parts of the brain. The first one is the prefrontal cortex right here, which is part of our frontal lobe that is responsible for our rational decision making as well as analytical self. And then the other part is very interested is the limbic system here, more specifically the part of the brain that is responsible for the fight and flight response, our amygdala. We have two, one on each side of the brain. Furthermore, our hippocampal structure are also responsible for memory production and retention. So what we have noticed in the scientific literature and our experimentation is that these two parts of the brain need to communicate appropriately in order for us to perceive the world in a positive and nurturing way. Based on a recent study, we know that while exercising, it's important for a general well-being and perception, exercise also simulate the very same neurotransmitters that are involved in pharmacological intervention. What we cannot claim that exercise could possibly replace pharmacological intervention entirely, it's important to understand that serotonin, dopamine, and even beta endorphins are released and modulated by exercising. So not only the body feels better while exercising, especially in vigorous exercise, the body will also understand that it is feeling better. So it's this self-proprioceptive apparatus that makes us feel more connected with our deeper self, thanks to the release and modulation of these neurotransmitters. And all right, so I'll do this here and this here.